So we're having a little chat today, Shannon, with our coffee. Do you actually have coffee? I do. I did. I, there's no more coffee left now. I did empty Oh, it. good. That's actually good. No Don't waste. waste any. How many coffees do you drink a day? One. Okay. Good job. We are, what are we talking about today? Merch. Merchandise and why we have it. Yes. Do you know why we have it, Shannon? <clears throat> what would be your guess? My guess would be some, no, I don't have a guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reminder. It's a reminder. Yes, 100%. From God. Yeah, yes. that's what I think it is. And I had the pleasure of designing a bunch of things having to do with our merch line, I call it. Mm -hmm. And I just love merch and I love the aspect, like you said, of like a daily reminder of like, this is who we are in God. And like, this is what he thinks of us. And this is like the fruit of the spirit. Like the yellow t-shirt is like joy and kindness. In my mind, it's actually not just a shirt or it's not just a notebook or a mug or whatever. Like, I hope that it reminds people life is actually better together. Like, I wonder who I can take out for a coffee. The magnet that some people have on their fridge and like hopefully that's actually a reminder to everyone in the household right in <laughs> yeah all this stuff is not like harvest actually doesn't earn any money off of this and that's not our goal the goal of the merchandise line and like the things that we've been giving to our dream team members is like we actually just want you to remember what god thinks of you and like remember that we're a team and that we're better together i think i hope that it's more than just a random thing that you buy that actually reminds you of who you are and what God wants to do in your life. Even if you don't like read it mm -hmm. every day, it's like it's there. It's still there. Yeah. And I even think like even with that, like speaking with Jay when I wanted to order it, he was like, no, no, like once we go back to church, then we have our green shirts. And I was like, that's not what it's about. No. <laughs> and like even with this one, I ordered it because it was gray. I wanted a gray yes. item. And Very nice. I struggled so much <laughs> because of it saying beautiful. And I didn't mm -hmm. want to rock around like, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I'm bound. Why? Why am I struggling with mm. knowing I'm beautiful? Because now if I look in the mirror and I see it, I see, I'm like, oh yeah, God knows I'm beautiful. God thinks yeah, I'm yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And it's that reminder as opposed to walking to the grocery store sassy mm. about it. Right. I remember being five or six and it was my, it was like a step grandma, but I was like, oh, this lady told me I was so pretty at the park. I'm so beautiful. And she was like reaming on me. For me, it no. felt like half an hour, but I'm sure it was like oh, a two minute conversation, yeah, but she was like, you don't ever say you're pretty. You don't say wow. you're beautiful. That's conceited. And like, I went home and have struggled yeah. with it. Like Jason yeah, even now will say, oh, you're so pretty. And I'm like, whatever. Like, it's oh, still man. something you struggle with. And that's like, to only be dealing with it now because you made a shirt. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right, it's right. just crazy how the story works in yeah. terms of how oh, it's impacting me and yeah. I love that story. bringing out. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. That's so awesome. And you are seriously so beautiful. And like- Thank you. <laughs> good job, so you hard. received it. That's so good. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm really trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The notebook we made, I actually really like. It's very small and cute. I love it. Um, and it just says, come and talk with me. The sermon that we shot outside in the park, the pastor was like walking around outside and there was this like nice worship moment in it. And it's just very memorable for me because even as we shot it, pastor was like, I just feel the peace of God all over this. But one of the points he made was that we need to like go and be with Jesus and talk to him. Just like you would go talk to a friend when you're feeling a certain way, like we can do that with God. And there's a verse that he shared too that just says like, come and talk with me from God's perspective of like, just come and be with me and like no expectation. You don't have to like do anything to come be in my presence. You can just come and talk with me. And so that's what I put on the front of it. And I'm, yeah, I'm, again, I'm just hoping that people will be like, oh, I can like share this with Jesus. And Jesus is always a safe space. And even like, I don't know about you, but writing stuff out helps me so much. Like, it's just like, I get all my emotions on paper <laughs> and it's just between me and Jesus, but it's like, it just feels so good after. It's, I have so many different notebooks Same. for like each book, each feeling, each yes. season. Yes, yes. And it, like I haven't like, for this. was waiting and waiting for that journal to come in and yep, like, yep. I just don't I know, that. I don't know what to put in it. Like I have it there, it's on the top and I still haven't wrote it because I'm so like, it's like, no, this one's gotta be special. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. But yeah, you yeah. saying even let's like explaining the scripture and the yeah, let's talk yeah, on yeah. it that, that gives me an incentive to now just turn it into a, just like hey, a dad, you and let's talk. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 exactly.